Hello, grade 10. So for our first topic for the first quarter uh, of your Mathematics 10 is, uh, is all about generating number patterns or in short about number patterns. Okay, so analyze this question. So what are the next three numbers of this example? So ano daw yung susunod na tatlong number sa example na ito. So, tignan yung maigi kung ano yung pattern na nakikita nyo at hulaan nyo kung ano yung susunod na tatlong number. Okay? So, bigyan ko kayo ng 5 seconds. Okay? So, let's reveal the answer. So, the answer is okay, 20, 25, and 30. Now, the question is, how did you get the answer? Paano nyo nakuha yung sagot? By skip counting by 5. So, kung napansin nyo, yung ating mga numbers ay 0, 5, 10, 15. Nung tinanong kayo kung ano yung susunod na tatlong number, ang isinagot nyo ay ay 20, 25, and 30. So, nakuha nyo yung tatlong number na yon by skip counting by 5. Okay? So, nagbilang kayo or lumaktaw kayo ng bilang sa, lumaktaw kayo ng bilang using number 5. Kaya nakuha nyo yung mga sagot. Okay. Next. What are the next four numbers of this example? So, kanina, next three numbers. Ngayon naman, next four numbers. So, you have 2, 5, 8, and 11. Ano kaya yung susunod na apat na number? So, tignan ng ma maigi yung ating number pattern. Okay, so the answer is 14, 17, 20 and 23. Paano nakuha ang sagot? So, how did you get the answer? So, by adding 3 in every succeeding number. So, nag add kayo ng 3 sa bawat susunod na number. Tignan natin. Kasi kung papansin ninyo, 2, 5. So, ano ang pagkakaiba ng dalawa? ba? Para maging, para maging 5 itong 2, mag add ka ng 3. So, 2 plus 3, 5. 5 plus 3, 8. 8 plus 3, 11. So, in short, ang pattern natin is nag add lang tayo ng 3 sa bawat susunod na number. Kaya nakuha natin yung sagot na 14 plus 3, 17 plus 3, 20 plus 3, 23. Okay? So, ang malaking tanong ngayon, class, what is number pattern? Number pattern is a sequence in a series of numbers. Ibig sabihin, kapag sinabi natin sequence, ito ay series of numbers or meron tayong mga grupo or set ng mga numbers na kung saan meron silang distinct pattern, katulad ng mga naging example ko kanina. Now, take a look at the next examples. So, example number 1. So, we have 11, 17, 23, 29, 35, 41, 47, and 53. Kung papansin ninyo, para makuha ang 17, nag-add tayo ng 6 sa 11. So, 11 plus 6, 17. 17 plus 6, 23. 23 plus 6, 29, and so on and so forth. Ibig sabihin, kung tatanungin ko kayo kung ano ang susunod na number sa 53, anong isasagot nyo? 
syempre ang isasagot nyo ay 59. Kasi meron kayong pattern na nakita. nag add lang kayo ng 6 sa bawat susunod na number. So in this pattern, we see that every term in the sequence has grown or increased by 6 or the difference between any two consecutive numbers is 6. When we say consecutive, magkasunod na number. Tandaan na kapag sinabing consecutive, magkasunod na number. So we can get the next term by adding 6 to the previous term. So ibig sabihin, para makuha yung susunod na number, nag add tayo ng 6. Okay, nagigets ba? Next, example number 2. We have 18, 15, 12, 9, 6, 3. So, anong napapansin nyo? Paano nakukuha ang susunod na number? So, you have 18 minus 3, 15 minus 3, 12 minus 3, 9 minus 3, 6 minus 3, 3. So, kapag tinanong ko kayo kung anong susunod na number sa 3, anong isasagot nyo? Siyempre, ang isasagot nyo ay 0 kasi nakita nyo na ang pattern ay nagmaminus or nagsusubtract kayo ng 3 sa bawat susunod na number. So, in this number pattern, we can see that every term in the sequence has reduced by 3 or 3 has been subtracted from every number compared to its previous one. So, we can subtract 3 from the previous term to get the next term. So, ibig sabihin, para makuha natin yung susunod na number dun sa 18, kailangan natin mag-subtract or mag-minus ng 3. So, in the, in the above two examples, the number pattern is formed by a common difference in all its terms. Okay, so later on, we will dig deeper about those uh, common difference. Another, pattern with dots. So some problems for the pattern can also involve a pattern of dots where we need to find out the number and position of the dots in the pattern. Okay? So tignan nyo na maigi to. One, one dot, two dots, then three dots. Of course, anong susunod? Four dots. Okay? Ano yung pattern na nakikita nyo? So, sa bawat susunod na term or item na dadagdagan ng isang dot. So, pagdating dito sa tatlong dot, ang nasa isip nyo agad, syempre, apat na dots na yung, yung sagot. Next, two dots, four dots, ilan kaya to? One, two, three, four, five, six dots. Okay, we have... 8 dots. Of course, ang susunod ay, okay, 10 dots. Kasi, this is 2, 4, 6, 8, 10. So, nag-add tayo ng dalawang dots sa bawat susunod na item. So, number patterns are not restricted to a few types. They could be ascending, descending, multiples of a certain number, or series of even numbers or odd numbers. So, ibig sabihin, ang number pattern, hindi lang siya dumadagdag, Pwede rin siyang nababawas or pwede rin siyang multiple sa a certain number. Ibig sabihin, pwede rin siyang multiply or series of even numbers. When we say even numbers, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, and so on and so forth. Or add numbers like 1, 3, 5, uh, 7, and 9, and so on and so forth. So, therefore, a sequence is an ordered list of items. Ordered. When we say ordered, maayos, organized. Usually, numbers. So again, when we say sequence, it is an ordered list of items. Ibig sabihin, isa siyang maayos at organized na listahan ng items. At ano yung items na yun? Those are numbers. So each item or numbers which makes up a sequence is called Term. So, i ibig sabihin, bawat number or bawat item dun sa ating sequence, ang tawag sa kanila ay term. Okay. So, let us dissect a sequence. So, a sequence is a set of things. 
okay, usually numbers that are in order. So this is an example of a sequence, okay? This is a sequence. So number three is the first term. So bawat, bawat number dyan, ang tawag natin ay terms. Of course, three is the first term kasi siya yung nauna. Five is the second term. Seven is the third term. Nine is the fourth term. And then what, what's the mean, what is the meaning of these three dots? Three dots means goes on forever. Ibig sabihin, meron pang katuloy ito. Sa tingin nyo, ano yung katuloy nito? Or anong kasunod ng nine? Based on the pattern that you see. Siyempre, ang kasunod niyan ay 11. Tapos ang kasunod ng 11, 13, and so on, and so forth. Okay? So, tatandaan nyo yan. So, ang tawag doon sa, sa, sa mga items or doon sa members ng ating sequence ay terms. So, another example. So, we have 2, 5, 8, 11, 14. Ano kaya yung kanilang pattern or paano kaya nakukuha yung susunod na term? So, there is there is difference of 3 between successive terms. The pattern is continued by adding 3 to the previous term. So, ibig sabihin, nag add tayo ng 3 sa bawat susunod na term. So, 2 plus 3, 5 plus 3, 8 plus 3, 11 plus 3, 14, and so on and so forth. How about number 2? 14, 9, 4, negative 1, negative 6. So, ano yung pattern na nakikita nyo? There is a difference of of negative 5 between successive terms. So, the pattern is continued by adding negative 5 to the previous term. So, nag add ka lang daw ng negative 5 or nagma-minus ka ng 5 sa bawat susunod na number. So, 14 minus 5, 9 minus 5, 4 minus 5, negative 1 minus 5, negative 6. So, dapat alam nyo pa rin yung rules sa mga integers kasi i-apply na naman natin yan pagdating dito sa mga sequences. So, grade 10 ha, huwag yung kakalimutan yung rules of integers kasi we will be using those again in sequences. Okay, number 3. So, we have 2, 4, 8, 16, 32. This sequence has a factor of 2 between successive terms. So, the pattern is continued by multiplying the previous term by 2. So, dito naman, nagmumultiply ka ng 2. 2 times 2, 4 times 2, 8 times 2, 16 times 2, 32 times 2, and so on and so forth. So, in short, kapag sinabi natin sequences, hindi lang siya nakakulong sa pag add ng number. Pwede rin siyang nagsusubtract. Pwede din siyang nagmumultiply at pwedeng pwede rin nagdi-divide ka ng number sa mga sequences. Katulad nito, 64, 32, 16, 8. So this, this sequence has a factor of 1 half between successive terms. So the pattern is continued by multiplying or dividing the previous term by 1 half. So 64 divided by 2, 32 divided by 2, 16 divided by 2, 8 divided by 2, and so on, and so forth. Number 5, we have 3, negative 6, 12, negative 24, 48. This sequence has a factor of negative 2 between successive terms. The pattern is continued by multiplying the previous term by negative 2. So, ibig sabihin, yung pattern natin dito, nagmumultiply lamang tayo ng negative 2 sa bawat susunod na number. So, 3 times negative 2, negative 6, Sir, bakit naging negative 6? Hmm, applying the rules of integers. Kapag nagmultiply ka ng positive but negative, magiging negative yung sign ng sagot. Kaya 3 times negative 2, negative 6. Tapos negative 6 times negative 2, positive 12. O bakit naging positive? Kasi pareha silang negative. Kaya naging positive yung sagot. Then 12 times, times negative 2, Negative 24, that's negative 24 times negative 2, 48. Okay? So, those are, exam those, these are the examples of sequences. Now, let us have an activity. So, find the next three terms of the sequence in each of the items below. 
Okay, so your task, isahanapin nyo yung susunod na mga numbers sa sequence na ito. So for example, we have 5, 9, 13, 17. Okay, so I'll be giving you 5 seconds to answer. Then after that, I'll be revealing the answer. Okay, so the answer is... Okay, so the answer is 21, 25, 29. Paano nakuha ang sagot? So nag-add lang tayo ng 4 sa bawat susunod na number. Okay, next. We have 4, 8, 16, 32. Ano mga susunod na numbers? Okay, so the answer is 64, 128, 256. Paano nakuha ang sagot? So, nagta-times 2 tayo sa bawat susunod na number. So, 4 times 2, 8 times 2, 16 times 2, 32 times 2, 32 times 2, 64, 64 times 2, 128, 128 times 2, 256. Next, negative 5, negative 8, negative 11, and negative 14. What do you think are the next three terms of the sequence? Okay, so let's, let us reveal the answer. So the answer is negative 17, negative 20, and negative 23. So paano nakuha ang sagot? Nagma-minus tayo ng negative 3 sa bawat susunod na number. So negative 5 minus 3 is negative, okay, negative 8. Okay, negative 8 minus negative 3. Okay, so negative 8, sorry, uh, negative 8 minus 3 is negative 11. So negative 11 minus 3 is negative 14. Negative 14 minus 3 is negative 17. Negative 17 minus 3 is negative 20. And negative 20 minus 3 is negative 23. So in short, nagsusubtract tayo ng, ng 3 sa bawat susunod na number. Next. We have 0, 6, 12, 18. What do you think are the next three terms? Okay, so the next three terms are 24, 30, and 36. So nag add tayo ng 6 sa bawat susunod na number. Okay, very good. Next. 1, 3, 9, 27. What are the next three terms of the sequence? Okay. So the next three terms of the sequence are 81, 243, and 729. So ano yung pattern natin? Paano natin nakukuha yung mga susunod na number? Nagta-times tayo ng... 3 sa bawat susunod na number. So, 1 times 3, 3 times 3, 9 times 3, 27 times 3, 81 times 3, 243 times 3, 729. Next, we have 34, 27, 20, and 13. What are the next three terms of this sequence? Okay, so the next three terms of this sequence are 6, negative 1, negative 7. So, paano natin nakuha yung pattern? So, nagsusubtract tayo ng 7 sa bawat susunod na term. 
or number. So 34 minus 7, 27 minus 7, 20 minus 7, 13 minus 7, 6 minus 7, negative 1, negative 1 minus. Okay, negative 1 minus 7. Okay, sorry class, this should be negative 8. Okay. Okay, correct me. The presentation or is wrong here. This should be negative, negative 8. Okay. Okay, so please take note of this one. This should be negative 8. Kasi nagsusubtract tayo ng 7 sa bawat susunod na number. So 34 minus 7, 27 minus 7, 20 minus 7, 13 minus 7, 6 minus 7, negative 1, negative 1 minus 7, negative 8. Okay? Next example, we have 10, 20, 40, 80. Ito, napakadali lang. Okay? So, the answer is 160, 320, and 640. So, paano natin nakuha yung mga susunod na terms? So, 10 times 2, 20 times 2, 40 times 2, 80 times 2, 160 times 2, 320 times 2, 300, or 320 times 2 is 640. So, in short, we are multiplying by 2. Okay, so I think this is our last example. So please class, uh, uh, pakisagutan yung quiz number 1 na nasa, na nasa ating Google Classroom. So thank you for listening.